and gentlemen hope you guys are having a good night i know we are we are the art school rejects and tonight bro, bro, bro. we have <laughs> and tonight we have carlos hey and we have two special guests andy what's going on guys and zang hello hello all right and tonight's podcast we're pretty much going to talk about deadpool the civil war trailer x-men apocalypse and we're going to probably go a little bit into this new craze, which is actually not too new, but VR. So, guys, what's going on? Not much. Just another day. Not much. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here with this podcast. Yep. Thank, thanks for the invite. Oh, you're my pleasure. Our pleasure to have you guys. My pleasure, too. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Double, double the mint, double the pleasure. Anyway, we'll get into that. So, um... Other than thanking you guys for coming here, and uh, so we've all seen the movie Deadpool, right? Yeah, saw it. Yeah, yeah. I have. saw it. What do you guys think? Me, what? Saiyan, and Luis went to go. Oh yeah, do you guys hold hands? Oh, you know what's funny is that my girlfriend actually wanted to go see it. Ah. We were watching a trailer, and she was like, "Oh, I want to go see that," and I was like, "Really? Like you?" Wanna? I was kind of like surprised because You're surprised. I was a little bit surprised because um. I don't know, but may I guess it was just like a comic book movie or whatever. So I was kind of excited. I was like, oh, that's cool. But then a week went by, we didn't go see it. And then at that point, it was just like everybody was talking about it. Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool. So me, Louise, saying just was like, let's, we got to go. Damn. You curved your girl. I kind of, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm admitting this now. Damn. I, figured, I figured you would have been the first one to be on their opening night. Not really. Nah, actually. I'm not. I mean, it's a Fox movie. And I have a bad, I'm like a battered, I mean, I'm not going to use that analogy. That's not, <laughs> that's <laughs> not I, almost, no, I'm, I almost went Dang. there, but then I was like, that's not really, that's equipment. not appropriate. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. So I'm just, I've been, I've been, yeah, exactly. So I've been scorned, you know, by these X-Men movies in the past. Um, I'm not going to mention names, but <clears throat> Wolverine, the Wolverine. <laughs> Origins. Origins. Oh my god. That was Origins. not a good movie at all. It Yeah, actually, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. The first 15 minutes of the original Wolverine movie. That's when he, like they go was, through the wars like him and Saber Yeah, they go like, through like World exactly War, like the, the revolutionary like war, like the that. World War 1 and World War 2. Mhm. To me, that part was brilliant. They probably could have ended that movie right then and there and i would have been happy and walked out but they decided to go further than that yeah no obviously I, mis mistakes were made yeah i mean i did walk out <laughs> oh you really? did damn well, late, later <laughs> though yeah like <laughs> oh, wow like, I, I have a special appreciation for that movie because at the time when it came out there was a leaked unfinished That's right. uh, vfx I remember. version that came out with full of like previs yeah. and just combination of all kinds of crazy shit. Oh my god, I, it was so good to have that insight. But other than that, the movies. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I think I totally well, forgot about that actually. Yeah, was it even was it on the uh, the school uh, student drive? Probably in JT's yeah. mom folder. Yeah, yeah. JT's for mom for a while it was yeah. on there. I rem I like now I remember <laughs> that it was on the the school student drive for anybody to go watch. Yep. It was amazing. Like all the had, green all the, screens, all the planes were just like fucking polygons. Just that's a plane. Just pretend it's a plane flying by. <laughs> Actually, great. I think it would be more Everything fun to watch the movie like that. <laughs> was it the full? Was it the movie entirely, or was it it's just an entire movie? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a movie from start to and finish, it, but like, no CG, like, right? Exactly. Oh my god! But this is also it, it was also like before like movies were getting leaked. All the it was like it was crazy that like this movie got leaked. It was a big deal that it came yes. out before like way before like the actual release of the movie. That's but it was a, it's a horrible movie for a leak like that though. Yeah, that 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 itself killed the sales, and then the movie just turned out to be terrible <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> and that's exactly why going into Deadpool, I was just like. I don't know. Like it looked, everything about it looked 
like the marketing for it alone was amazing oh yeah like the trailers were amazing Every, it was just but it was just like in the back of my head i was like well it's still a fox movie though so wolverine all over again i was just hesitant but okay so it did it it changed your mind you didn't walk out this time i'm assuming no I, qu- I quite enjoyed it and i think the reason why i thought it was enjoyable is because it stayed very tr- it stayed very true to it, to the character well this is because of the rated r rating though yeah that had a lot to they do couldn't it. do that with Pete. Like Wolverine has to be a rated R movie because of how he is. Yeah, he's just like, you know, I, I mean, I always think of that one cover where he's just he has like 50 ninjas in, impaled like on, like they're just sliding down his claws. Yeah. And it's just like you would never. That's not PG-13 material. Yeah. Was that Japan Wolverine movie? Was that in was that R rated? No, it was PG-13 also. No. All the Wolverine oh, so far. I mean, all comic book <laughs> movies, I think. Well, oh, yeah, all of them are except for Deadpool. Oh, yeah, that's true. I think... And uh, what about Blade? Blade, I Blade believe, was rated, was rated R. R. Blade was rated R. And I, I think back when Batman Returns first came out, I think it had a rated R rating. Because I, I remember very vaguely, like, I couldn't go watch the movie, like without like adult supervision but granted i was like super young when it came out anyway so speaking of rated r movies there's not much but like i think deadpool has definitely showcased what can be done with a correct character now i mean a lot of people are talking about making other superhero movies like rated r and stuff like that and i think it's just really because of the success of deadpool but to me Everybody went to go see it. Yeah, everybody went. Oh, people. yeah. But I mean, but that's Deadpool because it's, in a sense, the movie is a comedy. You know, it's, um, there. there's an element of some romance in it, you know, if you want to say that much. Absol- movie, oh, absolutely. But- it was probably the most romantic uh, superhero movie that has ever came out. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean it's, <laughs> it's, it came it, out on Valentine's it, Day. It came out yeah. number one. Yeah, it came out on Valentine's Day. And... Like the character's entire motive was, you know, related to, you know, his love interest. Yeah, just getting back with her, like, you know, you definitely have that. So it was, it was open for everybody in that sense. The the diehard fans, uh, the people who just want to see some people get hacked and slash. Uh, it was sensitive in the sense that I hate saying it, but like, you know, it could appeal to. Let's say if you were to take your girlfriend there, I'm not saying your girlfriend's a cliche girlfriend, but, you know, as how they rate it out there, like most women might enjoy it, you know? They enjoy Ryan Reynolds. That too. I, a I lot of half naked, half naked Ryan Reynolds running around. Yeah, they love that shit. <laughs> so on that same weekend, there, there's another movie that came out. Do you guys remember what it was? It was a, it was a competing movie. Was there? Oh, no it, one nobody, yeah, it, it bombed. Whatever it was. Uh, Zoolander. Uh, it was Zoolander oh, Zoolander 2? Oh, that came out uh, that weekend? You're right. I didn't even know that. Man, no one went to see Damn, it. Damn, bro. I did not even know. I thought I was That's still fine. Like, in That's process fine. of coming out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Nobody needed to see that. Wow. Yeah, apparently it was like really, everything about it was just forced. And I, I've only read it on Rotten Tomato and whatnot. But that man, Zoolander two apparently bombed so bad. Like everyone went to see it, just hated it, oh. just wrote angry reviews mm-hmm. online. Oh man! I mean, I wasn't crazy about Zoolander Part One, so yeah, this moment. Yeah, that's it though. But yeah, man, I that Deadpool, it was fantastic. I have to say one thing. Um, been a Deadpool fan since my young days of reading him. Rob Liefeld. Yeah, Rob Liefeld. Back when he was <laughs> in his run on. X Force. X Force. Like I remember being a youngster and going through my brother's comic book stash. Sorry, bro, but I had to. And um, are you just? just he doesn't. Does he? Yeah, he didn't know until just now. No, nah, he probably didn't know. Mm-hmm. But you know, because it was one of those stashes where he's like, "All right, this you is see a, this. This is a confessional. You podcast. don't touch this. You know, you you leave this alone. You know, if I see you, I'm gonna practice my Muay Thai moves on you." So, pretty sure I I didn't want to get like you know Tiger uppercutted. So, um, <laughs> but after finding that character like so amazing and awesome in my young days, 
I will admit one thing, and this is probably the first and only thing I've ever taken in my whole entire life. I remember I went to this kid's birthday party and we were just, everyone's just chilling. And we went into his bedroom and we were playing with like the toys and stuff like that. And I saw a Deadpool action figure and I was like, what? I don't know if you guys remember, but like I remember it very clearly. Like he had like the two katanas in his oh, back. Yeah. I had it. I and had the like, same one. He had he had like a little the knife that like would like pop out and stuff like that in one hand. And bro, like I just saw it and I was like, look to my left, look to my right, and I pocket that shit like so fast. Yeah, I felt so bad like afterwards, <laughs> dude. Like when I was telling him like bye and stuff like that, but like. Went home and I looked at my loot and I was like, oh, man, Worth so it. happy to have done this. <laughs> Worth <you know>? it. <laughs> hey, it was the first first time. But, uh, yeah, it's so definitely when this you know, movie you came know, out. You, you know what's crazy is sorry. that I preferred not Deadpool, but back then, I mean, uh, Shatterstar was kind of my guy. Ah, same here. I liked him. Shatterstar was I my dude. Shatterstar is. So he was a mutant as well. And he uh, was, right. he came like this, he, he was, I guess, created around the same time as Deadpool. Um, it was also, he was also created by Rob Liefeld and he had two swords. He wore all yep. white and he had red hair, but he had like long, like a long red ponytail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he had like a, yeah, he also had like a star tattoo, like on his face. I believe. Yeah. Kind of like Cable. Cable had the M yeah. on his left, on his right eye. Right. I think that's where it is, but his left eye illuminates. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Shatterstar was dope, but Deadpool, he, cause this is before he was like the Merc with the mouth or whatever. Like he was just kind of an like this agent yeah in the early early books and to me deadpool he just looked cool yeah i like mm -hmm. how he looks I he was like cool he looks. like i remember like oh he sh he turned up and he was kind of an instigator and, and a, an antagonist but he didn't have like the same personality that he does now oh no back then when he came first was written he was way too powerful i think he he took on the whole entire x-force and like made them like putty you know like now he totally is a uh, not so much of a hard ass character he is more of a wisecrack lovable you know smart still ass. smart ass stupid like not stupid but you you get what i'm saying like pretty much like that type of character who he is right now so and deadpool was designed uh to to rival which uh dc character uh actually that's a good question um if you if you look at Deathstroke. Deathstroke, you know he is also a mercenary, and I think the the major comparison, other than the costumes, barely, I think Deathstroke is more. Yeah, they have swords and guns, and I think they both have like the circle around the eyes or some crap like that. Or I think Deathstroke is one half of his face is black and the other one is a different orange color. Orange or something like that. Right, it's like an orange. Yeah, yeah. It's, orange. it's orange. But the similarities other than the getup and then being mercenaries, Deathstroke, his name is Slate Wilson. And while Deadpool <laughs> is oh, Wade, Wade Wilson. Wilson. So I think... Who came first? I'm not too sure... But I think Deathstroke came for first. For sure, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. So, I, I think that was Marvel's pass at Deathstroke. And in my opinion, they have, they've won. You know, they've created well, a better oh, for sure. character. Well, he, not originally. That's what we're talking about. It's like he was kind of, at first, he was kind of like a, a Deathstroke ripoff. More serious character. Uh -huh. And then once he became like that fourth wall breaking wisecracking merc with the mouth then that's when he really started to his per, his popularity started really taking off and then now of course you know marvel has won because you know would they ever make like a deathstroke movie no, no. and then would it ever no. like become as like financially successful as the deadpool movie like no, no. not even close it it's just a perfect perfect character for you know his movie transition and Thank God. Thank God for Ryan Reynolds. Seriously, like, he, he played him in the original one and in the original Wolverine. And seeing him 
when back when he didn't have like you know the whole get up on or whatever and he was just kind of a mercenary when you just finally see like uh wade wilson with like the katanas and stuff like that i was like oh my god they casted the perfect person for mm-hmm. deadpool yeah you know he was fine and at that point when they in, when they introduced him that, that was perfectly fine but they changed him eventually so I mean, yeah when they would be horrible yeah when they made that mutation of he was the perfect whatever. character though he was, it was perfect yeah for sure and for him to come back as deadpool this time around and him being so strong strong of a force within the actual production of it you know uh just showcase that he really was about this character and making this movie you know because from what i heard sources is that he was the one who was responsible for the leak of the test footage you know back Um, in the day when all we just saw like the test footage of uh of the major encounter he was behind was he behind the the, the, the sony hack too (laughs) <laughs> the first one maybe. <laughs> maybe 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 that's how he did it maybe maybe not we don't know <laughs> i mean some people say it was, yeah. some people say it was uh, north korea but my, yeah. my money's on ryan reynolds <laughs> he has better technology yep yeah he's definitely not using windows 95 <laughs> uh but yeah man so what do you guys think about these new these new trailers are popping out for these next Marvel movies. I, I don't agree with the concept of uh, Captain America Civil War. What? Just the fact they use the name Civil okay, War. Okay, yeah. Because to me, Civil War is about mutants, you know, and the whole identification thing. This is just, I don't see the, I guess I don't see the cause. What, you, you want to protect Bucky? That's about it. I can't see any other. Well, it's, yeah, yeah it's because of the the sokovia documents or whatever like the sokovia papers is that a vodka <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, p diddy's new vodka um no um, nice <laughs> <laughs> no it, it, <laughs> it's <clears throat> so Soko- i think sokovia if i'm if i'm saying it right is the the city of that avengers 2 movie the age of ultron where they kind of lift it up and it comes crashing right oh yeah yeah so General Ross from the the uh, Incredible Hulk movie, he um, kind of passes a law saying that uh, if you're a superpowered being, then you must register with the authorities, with the government. So and also you have to reveal your secret identity. If you have a secret identity, it has to be public, and you have to be responsible for using your superpowers. Just so we can, we don't have another case like this, like. The bombings in New York, like the when the aliens, you know, uh, invaded New York and and things like that. Okay. Um, I mean, don't they already establish everyone's identity in the, inside the Avengers? Like, who wears a mask in the Avengers besides Spider Man? Well, but you gotta understand. Well, <clears throat> in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the only people who really know the true identity of Captain America is the the Shield. You know. Everyone who's there. Oh, I guess he goes out with a mask. He does, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, everyone else, they're, they're they're all agents of Shield, so no one's knows Tony, anyone's not. civilian. Tony, of course, like he is the only one that's known that. You know, he openly told everyone in at the end of his first movie yeah. that he's like, "Hey, I'm Iron Man." But if you look at it like a uh, Hawkeye, no one knows who Hawkeye is. Like his family, he no one even knew he had a family. You know, right? And the only other person other than Iron Man at this point that's known is now Black Widow because mm-hmm. no, it's not that yeah, she never wore a mask, but in so in Captain America: Winter Soldier, there was some part she's where a Russian assassin. They leaked all of her information <laughs> in on the, the internet, life. so she's her past. So she's already known. Yeah, and uh, Scott Lang, right? Nobody knows who that is. Yeah, no one knows who he is. You know. Ant Man, yeah, hmm. and no one knows that the Hulk is Bruce Banner. So, and so you kind of see where it it kind of gets a little bit different because obviously we live in a time where studios are fighting over licenses of characters. So to make things different, 
inside of these, you know, inside of these movies, this is what they had to do. So I guess to me, the scope is just so small. It's like a little, it's, it's like an infighting within the, the already very small Avengers base. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It just seems like, oh, well, the the, scope the, is- there's, a, there's a, a picture of like, so civil war is from the books. Right. And it's like this, I mean, it really divided like the entire Marvel universe. So there was like, yeah. you know, we're talking like hundreds of heroes and you had to pick a side and, there's like a meme out where it just shows you like, oh, Civil War, like the comic book version. And it's just like on two sides of the book, like there's just hundreds of heroes going at each other. And it's like packed, like there's no space. Like it's just like heroes after heroes. It's like they're all drawn in there and they're fighting each other. And then it shows like movie version. And it's that scene where they're both sides it's are like running five, at each five. other. Oh, right. And it's like five guys on each side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like so, so small compared. Is the Hulk in this one? No. There's rumors. Mm. Uh, yeah, if he, well, if he I, was, one we, side would win whoever side he's on. So. <laughs> well, then, yeah. There's always <laughs> Thor as well. But I just, That's right. I was going to yeah, say, yeah, Thor, right, is right. he in this one? Because yeah, I, I, I'm assuming just because of the trailers, but also because of the fact that it's Civil War and to have two powerhouses like Hulk and Thor be present wouldn't really make... A, a, suffi- a sufficient fight for you know like like I Captain decide. America versus like the Hulk it's it's not gonna happen you know like Thor's probably like oh you you, you children yeah I'll let you sort out your problems but you mm-hmm. know that's <laughs> yeah that's the problem when anything like this happens because there's always that thing where like well why don't they just call Thor and he can just yeah. <laughs> mop these dudes up real quick <laughs> but you know what and now I do remember in Avengers 1, they did fight Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man. They had that little scuffle, but... In the woods. Yeah, in the woods. And I remember that's when, like, Iron Man's suit got supercharged, like, 400%. So he was 400... He was four times stronger and whatever. And he went toe-to-toe with, with, Thor. with Thor. That's his, just that's just his name. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, he just said... <laughs> I could just so say Tony Thor. Stark's. You can say you can say Thor Odinson. Yeah, I should say that. That's his full, maybe his full name. I don't know. But it sounds like that's what his name would be. I'm excited for it. Uh, I definitely think it's it's going in the right direction. I really like the fact that the same guy who directed Winter Soldier is back on this one. Two guys. Oh, it's two guys. Sorry, they're brothers. Oh yeah, like the Wachowski yeah. brothers. Oh, nice. Oh, well, no, the Wachowskis now are yeah, bo- are both are, yeah transgender now. But wait, wait, they both, both are now. Yeah. Um, what? Uh-huh. Dude, that well, is... Lana, like Lana, has been like for a, a hot minute. Like yeah, yeah. She kind of came out as transgender like a while ago, and then now um I forgot what the the other sibling. She, I guess, she just came out like I think it was last year. Okay. Yeah hey that's awesome so the directors for civil war is uh the russo brothers oh wow yeah so they did okay you, you were right they did winter soldier they're, they're doing now civil war mm-hmm. are they they, they just completed? actually just had an interview with uh with them i think it was like gq or forbes or one of these magazines and they were asking him about tony stark and like what happens when like robert robert downey jr doesn't want to do these movies anymore like what's what's that going to mean for marvel and they're just like you know you can't replace robert downey jr he's like you know the best he's actor in the universe right now he's he i think he yeah he's that character i think they said something like like a camera like close up on robert downey jr's face for like <laughs> once for one shot of his face is worth like an entire movie worth of other actors wow <laughs> Yeah, and I was just like, I believe wow. it. Like that's, uh, I believe it. They're like, there's gonna be a day where he does. He's not gonna want to do the movies anymore. And he's like, at that point, this is coming from them. They said we'll just probably retire the character because there's like nobody that can just kind of come in and fill his shoes. Yeah, I mean, with the roadmap set out with all these Marvel movies, you think they make him sign a contract that says, "Hey, you gotta finish all these." He does have a contract, but I don't. I'm not sure like how long it is because they go into like 2018 and 2020, and that's a long time, man. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't, I don't think he's doing any more Iron Man movies. 
You know, I don't think they're going to come out with an Iron Man 4. Right. I don't see anyone else playing Iron Man. Not, not for a while. Not this for like... This guy another, has like, been bred to be yeah. Iron Man. Like his, his whole life, him having his drug addiction, you know, falling from heaven to hell and then getting back up in real life. You know, it's pretty much the whole Iron Man s- story. It would have to be like a new generation of like moviegoers, <laughs> like somehow bring them back or something. You know, like it can't. None of nobody from our generation will is going to accept anybody else as Iron Man. No, I mean, you think someone would take a different Wolverine? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I would take a different. Wolverine. <laughs> I would take a different Wolverine immediately. <laughs> Okay, like someone who looks more like the actual character, yeah. Instead of Hugh, Jack- Hugh Jackson was like six huge, two, like <laughs> huge, he's like Jackman. tall as fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean Wolverine is is five foot three. Yeah, so that never that's always been the disconnect for me. Yeah, it was either Danny DeVito or Hugh Jackman, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, Danny DeVito, he would have had to like work out a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Hey, they can put all that stuff in post. Post. This yeah. is penguin fat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He was already. He's already the penguin. You really just need his face. You can just paste it on anybody. Yeah. I mean, Marvel. Just wear a green suit the entire time on set. Yeah. I'll take a. I'll take a just full CGI Wolverine. Just get just just get uh, Andy Circus. Who's who's Andy Circus? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's uh, Koba. Koba? Who was he in the, the in the? Um, he's Caesar, I believe. Caesar, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think Caesar. He's both Caesar and Koba. He does like for all the apes. I, I, I think he just does it for all the apes. <laughs> oh, I know who you're talking about. Like Two hundred times. Yeah, that he was does the all the played, performances. Uh, he played as a golem, right? Yeah, yeah, he's golem. Schmeagle, he Schmeagle, Schmeagle guy. Yeah. From Star Wars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? The hologram guy. I, I forgot his name. His Snook. Stoke? Oh, he no, Snoke? he's that. He's he's. Snoke, oh, he's Snook. Yeah. Snoop? No, Snoop. Snoop Dogg was Snoop? in Star Wars? Snoop? He was a mad guy. Oh my god, oh my god. What, if, guy. what if Snoop was like the Sith Lord? <laughs> hey yo, fools are gonna roll up on these motherfuckers. <laughs> Some shit. Like, yes. I don't know. Yeah. It would be the best I mean, Star Wars movie yeah. ever. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Immediately it would be it would catapult itself to like the most amazing Star Wars movie. Like comes in there with like his perm hair and all that. Like oh he was god. like yeah. the brother of Lando. Then they oh, can man. make uh, the the bong shavers. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yo, yo! <laughs> hey, oh man! Disney right, we Star Wars. Wait. If you Hold guys on. are listening, we have million dollar ideas, billion, trillion dollar ideas. Bong shavers. Yes. All right. So that wasn't the only Marvel movie trailer that came out recently. I think um, X Men Apocalypse just dropped a new one. Yeah, they just dropped. Round two, or round three, actually. Was, it, was there anything new that we didn't see in the... Um, uh, extra Jennifer Lawrence scenes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's, like, she's like the leader of the X-Men now. Mystique. Yeah. God, I hate that. <laughs> That's crazy. She's like in, like, yeah, she's like in the, in, the, like the, in the back of the Blackbird, like, all right, guys, like rounding, like, <laughs> all right, we're going to hit him hard. We're going to, like, she's like the leader now. But I mean, Mystique. okay. <clears throat> okay, all right. There's two reasons behind it. Okay. Well, we know the, the obvious. The the main reason that everyone pinpoints on this is, of course, is um, it's not ScarJo. It's Jennifer Lawrence. J Law. She's been brilliant in pretty much all of her movies that she's come out in, and she is just that actor who is fantastic and phenomenal. But if you kind of look at how the this take on the X Men. You know, this second generation of X-Men movies have been played out. She has been that consistent character. You know, so in some sense, <clears throat> even in this movie, she has that seniority because she is the oldest of all of, of the X-Men. You know, she was Professor X's friend, you know, and all these other X-Men in part one, they've come and gone like... Alex Summers, like he's locked up, you know, the girl, like, um, Lenny Kravitz's daughter, like, where is she, you know, uh, everyone's just kind of dispersed. In the second one, I can't even remember what happened. I think it was just Quicksilver and Wolverine 
running around the whole entire movie. So now, the second one, she had a main plot point because she was needed for that, you know, whatever development, the serum and whatnot. She had a major role in the in in uh, future past. Um, that's right. Her blood was used to make that robot thing. But this one, I feel like this is more right. of a Professor X movie than anything, mm. especially mm. with Apocalypse and controlling all of his students and this and that. There's, a, I just, I know that there's a scene where Apocalypse grabs Mystique and like starts choking her, and I was just like, "Good, <laughs> <laughs> she's a villain. Like she's like, you can't trust Mystique. Take her out." <laughs> yeah. So, uh, why does Apocalypse look like Ivan Ooze? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think they got their, their character sheets mixed up. They're like, oh man, we're making this new Power Ranger movie and we're making this X Men movie. Oh no. Yeah. The character sheets I got mean, mixed it's, up. I mean, it's, it sucks because you have such a good actor playing him, but then, like, you just got, like, they got it all wrong. I just found out that he's actually is Oscar Isaacs playing him. I have yeah, no. I did not know. Well, now you know. Oscar Isaac is pretty hot right now. Yeah, he's been putting in a lot of work. Yeah, Ex Machina. Ex Machina. Um, before that, what movie? He was in Drive. Inside, Inside Lewin Davis. Um, it was a, a Coen Brothers movie that was really good. Ex and Machina then, is that one with the robot that tricks that guy into falling in love with her, and then that's right. Yeah, uh, don't trust yeah. robots with your dick. Once your dick starts getting a, a little corrective for a robot, you're wrong. Watch out, Japan. Yeah. So, but, and, and obviously, I mean, for his biggest role to this day now, of course, Star Wars, he's Poe. So. But I guess last year when, when The Force Awakens came on, everything was branded as Star Wars. It's starting to give me like a Star Wars fatigue. Uh, so I'm just like, uh, every year there's going to be a Star Wars. But by the end of it, you're just going to end up getting sick of Star it's Wars. It's like the Fast and the Furious. Yeah. And these uh, and and the Marvel stuff too. It's getting because they they're so formulaic now. Because every movie is gonna have that hero shot with all the that that you know that Avengers mm-hmm. uh, shot that everyone spins around. And in the second movie they did one, but it's not as good. Oh yeah, and yeah. And this yeah. one they're gonna have that two sides fighting each other. So every movie you're gonna expect that one shot now, and it's become very formulaic. Cliche, yeah, and very pl- <laughs> played out in that sense. Yeah. But I mean, I, I will say that that's one thing. Like my first climax that I got from <laughs> what phase. You know, I'm saying it. It's a climax, bro. I'm telling you, I felt super awesome yeah. after the end of the Avengers. I mean, just the whole build up from Iron Man. You know, where it's Nick Fury drops in there and pretty much just saying, "Hey, listen, we are going to make an Avengers movie." He said he was you know, going to make sec- a movie. <laughs> Who? He said he, he was going to say he was going to make the movie in, within the movie? Yeah. Oh, he did yeah. say that. Nick Fury comes in like, we're going <laughs> to make an it. Avengers movie. He looks at the camera. <laughs> Tony Stark's going to fund it. Breaks the third wall. Fourth That's wall, I think. That's what he pretty much said. Fourth, Fourth wall, my <laughs> third wall. Yeah. I don't know that wall. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> did they paint that wall? Uh, that's, a, that's fresh, hey, fresh paint on that wall. But... <laughs> Uh, wait, hold it's, on. I just wanted to quickly shout out the division what? for like getting all these awesome. Speaking of fresh paint on a wall, <laughs> um, I've been division, playing the division hard. Like, yeah, let me get like ten seconds to just shout out the division. I, they like got a I bunch of like that. really uh, like legendary graffiti artists to uh, to like tag up New York City. Oh, I heard they're about like in that. the game. Yes, I was like, I didn't know about it, but I was like walking. Wait, are they actually in the game? Not, like you can catch no, them. No, they're not. Writing? No, it's like it's already up. Like all the graph is up. Oh, okay. But it's like, oh shit, that's okay. you know, that's such and such, and I'm just like walking around New York, like looking up, and there's all this tag up there that's like from like known artists. I thought that, that was pretty cool. Okay, anyways, yeah, no, sounds well, good. I like that. Since you since you brought that up, is I've I've saw that, and the person I believe I once is you know me, I get my news from IGN. <laughs> Uh, and uh, they had a little write up. It's like just there just, that, just above Fox News for like sources. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right on the cusp. But uh, they were talking about that because they're saying like most games they don't even try like with the graffiti. It's just like some like they get someone from the office. Or, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, you can draw right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, all right. Just they get like do this, and then they just. They just kind of like repeat it like throughout. You the talking whole about like entire... Rain Wilson? 
<laughs> what? Slate Wilson. This, yeah. yeah. Slate oh Wilson. shit. <laughs> no, you said they get somebody from the office. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I know you're saying. I've never seen The Office. Me neither. Me, watch I've it. never seen The Office. The British one I saw. <laughs> but like how they were saying that they just normally get some like just regular ass like graffiti that doesn't even look like graffiti. It just looks like someone just wrote like, hey, hi, cool, whatever. And they just kind of plaster it like all over. But I heard in the division that there's certain places it's not like a repetitive tagging it's like you go to this you go to let's say dark alley five it's like it's not it's it's not it's not even dark alley five it's like the actual new york city streets so you can go to like 24th and broadway and look up and it's like this big you know big piece that uh like buff monster like one of these legendary artists did but then you also see like there's like the little like sticker tags That'll be like, and yeah. you'll see the same one like multiple places. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's super accurate. Nice. So um, the division is set in Manhattan, yeah. right? And it's all New York City, and I think, nice. if I'm not mistaken, nice. it's like a one to one replica of Manhattan. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Wow. Do you do you actually go like all around the city, or is it like how like actually since so we're on the game, like tell us about it. Mm. Like, what is it about? I was looking at your uh, your favorite website ign and they gave it a 6.8 oh. <laughs> for oh, the review, there you yeah. go. thank you very low very <laughs> low um they yeah there was some hot takes over there but i like i like it you know i play i probably put already like over 30 hours i would say uh, like, in like one week yeah I'm like no i'm like level i'm level 20 i think and i'm level 17 in, in the dark zone Oh, okay. So you have like your main missions, but that are like you can group up with, with your friends or for people online. You, there's matchmaking and you could just do like the normal story missions. Um, and then there's also an area where you can go into called the dark zone, which will have multiple online players. And there's also like NPCs in there as well. And the NPCs are super buff, <laughs> like jacked. No, they're not jacked, but they're like, <laughs> like they're hard. High levels. They're, they're high levels. Yeah. They look like Arnold. Arnold, like back in his his prime. Yeah, like Ar- Jack, Carl or? Weathers, I would say. Okay, they're extremely powerful enemies, and you have to not only kill them and get good loot, but you also have to extract the loot, uh, calling it a helicopter, and then that leaves you vulnerable to online players that might want to like take you out and then take your loot. You can get some Ooh, really okay. good loot there. So, I actually, was in there with uh, Esty. Me and him were like mowing fools down in the in the dark zone. Uh, we had some pretty some pretty successful runs. Um, I like the game. I know I got a terrible review on IGN, but I don't listen to IGN. So <laughs> it's like a better version of like Battle, a, Pro, uh, Battle uh, Borderlands. It's kind of like Borderlands. Yeah, yeah. it's like a uh, level up, and you get better loot, and then you kill e- enemies easier. It's like yeah. that, right? And then you just repeat. It's an RPG. Uh-huh. So, oh, so okay. do they have VR that. features in this game too? What kind of features? Since VR features, since uh, VR. Virtual reality is like a big thing now. So. Uh, somebody told me about the the uh-huh. the. There's like an eye tracking feature. If you turn it on, like it'll track your eye movements. So if you look down at your, like let's say your map or whatever, like if you look in this area, like your map will pop up because you're looking in that space. And then mm-hmm. like when you look away from that, then the map goes back down, or so, like little features like that. Like, huh, that's cool. You look at your loadouts and your loadouts pop out, and then and then. Once you look back to the, you know the the street or the car or whatever, then uh, the net goes away. So I don't, I don't. Yeah, I think that's. I don't. I haven't. I I haven't seen those features, but that's what I heard. You guys want to talk about VR? Let's talk about VR. Yeah, let's. Hold on. VR, we we got to we got to call. Let's put on our wait. We got our goggles <laughs> wait, first before we put on our goggles. Uh, let's oh, uh, okay. let's call Luis up. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on. I got the. I got his number right here. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, how do I do this? Uh, all right, let's uh, let's hope he's home. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, we're waiting. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll see if he picks up. Okay. It's like a lifeline. Phone. Who wants to play a million? Phone a friend. Hi. Yay. He picked up. Hey. What's up, Luis? What's up, Luis? 
So now we're 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 in virtual space talking to wow. Luis. Whoa. <laughs> It's like real we got life, and, but we got Andy not really. on the line and yeah. also the the Z Man, Johnny Zang. Z Man. Yep. Z-Man. I like calling him J Cakes, but Z Man's cool. J Cake is fine too. <laughs> I like J Cakes too. I call him, I like Z Man though. Z Man sounds kind of fresh. We can. He likes both of them. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so now we're in virtual reality space. That's what it is now. Yeah. It's nice in here. It's cozy. We're all naked wearing our HMDs. That's what we're doing. Right now. What's an HMD for those of us that are? I don't know. <laughs> head mounted displays. Oh, oh. got it. Head. Nobody we're not, calls we're it that. not no. familiar with the terminology. <laughs> <laughs> head mounted displays. That could be anything. Um, that could be a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, hat with a little teeth I mean, dangled. If it has it, yeah. <laughs> Under the bill. So. If I if I touch myself, am I touching myself in VR or am I just touching myself? Uh, you see your VR hands moving down there, but I don't know if it has much effect. I mean, no. wait. Well, you're touching yourself and you're in VR, so <laughs> okay. So wait, <laughs> you're touching yourself in, in VR. VR. You see like a a pair of floating hands touching you. Nice. Mm-hmm. I, I I enjoy this. This is a brilliant experience. So. <laughs> As long as long as you feel hey, it, hey, I do feel it. This That's is not matters. the full dive I, system, though. What? The full dive VR what? system, <laughs> like in uh, Sword Art Online or a Hack. Oh yeah. No, no, no. It's not that deep. Not yet. Maybe five more years. Damn, five more years. Okay. You say? I'll, I'll be alive still. I'm hopeful. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure Japan already has. I something. think he was more so hoping that the VR was uh, gonna be that way instead of you actually being alive, Carlos. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. What? All right. The reason why uh, I wanted to call Luis as well is because uh, you, Luis, and also Johnny recently just pre-ordered the new, what is it? The HTC, which I thought I thought they made Vive. phones, but the HTC Vive. Vibe mm-hmm. or Vive? Vive. Not is like it a Vive or thing? <laughs> Sorry. Q-tip. <laughs> Shout out to Q-tip. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like Vive magazine. It's like something. It's V I V E. I mean, the HTC is just making the hardware. Steam is making all the, the cool gaming oh, stuff. Oh, it's Steam related. Yeah, it's Valve. Yeah. Valve, that, Valve, that Valve yeah. It, oh, the, the, the Half-Life. With HTC. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. Yeah, they make, they make Steam and then they decided to partner up with HTC because HTC has all the hardware stuff. I, I've, I've never owned an HTC phone, actually. I, I had one. Like the Dream I did. It, 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 was, it was my first phone and it sucked. I had. I, a, I think, think I had, I ever a, I had a Kyocera but, once. That's the closest I've ever gotten. I don't know what that, <laughs> that was that MySpace phone, right? Yeah, the um, the, uh, Helio. the Helio, yeah, the Helio, MySpace. Well, phone. that's a oh, that's boy. a, that's I wanted a that. fucking throwback right there. Yep. They had they had some good advertising for that or marketing, let's call it. Yeah, same thing. Uh huh. Well, what inspired you guys to 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 fork over? It was not not inexpensive. I wouldn't say. Um, how much uh, is an it? Inve- retail? Investment, but you guys did both decided that it was worth well, it. I yeah, man, a, it's, an, it's the next evolution, man. Yeah, Ooh. I was a huge Oculus fan mm-hmm. at first when when Oculus Rift first announced that when they had the, the developer kit, it was just like a mm-hmm. square box, and then I actually <laughs> used it at NAB in Vegas. NAB is this uh, big conference, this big trade show where they show off the latest cameras and uh video film recording devices and whatnot and they had um this one company which i thought was strange they had this um software basically you map out schools and you map out like it's like a photogrammetry uh photogrammetry is where you take a bunch of photos like hundreds of photos of an area and then there's a there's a software that interpret those photos and make the the scenery in 3d basically it's really cool and then they were showing off that technology and how it worked with Oculus Rift. So you basically take a 500 photos of the school from every angle and then you put it in the software and they interpret that and then make a 3D model of it, even textures it in, 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 in like very realistic way. And then you put on this fucking Oculus Rift and you're there mm. and you look around all around you. And granted, at that time, it was 2013 and the resolution was super low and everything was just a test yeah. back then but man when you put it on you try to explain vr to people and they're just like oh you know it's just like watching a movie but you can move around no it's not that when you put it on you you get it you're just like oh okay i know what well i think people now. when and when I people think wait. of vr they think of like tron or something like that or like lawn like yeah, lawnmower right, man you know, you know like those graphics vr troopers i mean <laughs> close enough 
I mean, no, no joke. I mean, I, I Johnny. Uh, other than that, did you did you try it anywhere else? I didn't. I didn't get to play any game. Like to this day, I haven't played a game with the Oculus Rift or a Vive or anything. And mm. uh, uh, okay, so back in 2013, I did that test, and there was two more companies that does it with uh, GoPro. They do like 360 videos and whatnot. They try to sell the GoPro attachments and whatever. So they had it there, mm. and it wasn't. It wasn't that cool. But being being a virtual world, like a game, almost like a game world with VR, I felt it. Watching that video, not so much. And then, and I guess 2014, uh, Google Cardboard came out with their with their I/O conference, and mm. I had a Nexus device at the time. I had a Nexus Five, so I went out and um and I bought a Google Cardboard from I think one of these uh, third party companies that they kind of cloned the Google Cardboard because you, you couldn't find the Cardboard anywhere. And to go on eBay, it's like 500 bucks. So a few Jeez. months later, yeah, I got it. Uh, I tried it out. It's amazing. If you, not right now, if you if you have 20 bucks, go to like, go online, go on eBay, and there's a bunch of company that makes rip off of it. Buy a Google Cardboard. But download the Google app or download like just tons of company out there that makes uh, mobile VR apps now, like these roller coasters. There's one called Cedar Point mm. Roller Coaster. It's a six flag or something. It's a real roller coaster, but they recreated it in 3D. And when you mm. when you calibrate it right and everything, you put in the cardboard, you put it against your face, you feel the drop. You feel it in your stomach. And it's, but it's do you have to and like, just what if you're like part. riding a skateboard or something at the same time? <laughs> or like riding a bicycle, like well, on a actually, bicycle. Like you have to have like wind or something. You have to be outside and feel the wind, I feel You like. just turn the fan on, bro. Oh, okay. Or stand in front of the AC. They actually did that with a roller coaster. I forgot which well, we one were it actually, was. <laughs> We were actually just talking about that because uh, um, I just saw like a an ad for uh, I'm not sure if it's I mean it's obviously probably not a game no no for uh, Everest it's called Everest VR which oh, I yeah, I'm assuming they just put you at the tip of Mount just Everest full 3D I mean <laughs> I mean <laughs> I'm not sure if you're flying around the video doesn't really explain much but. You know, imagine standing like in front of like a super cold AC and a bunch of fans, and then just <laughs> drop in there. Just have a walking <laughs> like, freezer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh my god, I'm there. Well, that that Everest thing that you're talking about, I actually read an article about it. Um, I, since GDC is this this week, this whole past week, and everyone's showing everything mm-hmm. about VR, and yeah. this one journalist was, I couldn't finish Everest. I couldn't finish Everest VR. It was so stressful. Mm. It was just. Do you have very, to, is it like yeah, like yeah. a like a cliffhanger where you're like cl- like scaling like you're like re- <laughs> repelling like up the side? That'd be crazy. Oculus. There there is a there's a game where you climb. Um, Your grip has to be really like good. A, you know those. You have these two controllers, right? There's one game for Oculus where they do like those bare hand climbing. I forgot what the sports is called, but your your hands are the controllers. So you have to keep your hands where you are, and then you look around and you find the next spot. And then you basically you reach and drag yourself to the next next rock. I think I th- I think that's a um, Oculus exclusive though. Right. I'm not that's sure. That's an Oculus one. Bullshit. Yeah. And so uh, and to continue my original point, I was usually I, I used to be an Oculus fan until they started doing shady shit. And merged with like, Facebook. Uh, they, yeah. Well, they got merged with Facebook, and I guess Facebook has more quote unquote experienced guys to manage the company. And granted, the the CEO of Oculus is 24 years old. So you're not going to expect him to, to be able to run a huge company. And Facebook gave him like a billion dollars or some shit. Uh, so I guess Facebook took over as far as management. And so the price that he promised, which was 350 to two to 400 bucks, was completely changed. When he announced the price was $600. Yeah. Oh, geez. The dev so, kit was uh, 350 like, with a, right. Without the controllers. With, with, yeah, without anything. Without the Oculus Touch, yeah. Wow. They come with the I Xbox mean, controller. You, you, yeah, you get an Xbox controller, which is like whatever, and they don't even launch at the same time. So it's like I understand there's that they no want to do. For it. I don't think there's a there's an announcement date for it. They're just like you can pre-order it. I'm not sure. I I feel like they they are they did put a date on it recently. Hmm. Maybe this is week it. Is there something. a date for the one that you guys got the the HTC one? Uh, that comes out in May. And uh, it's no April everything. April fifth. April. Oh yeah, there oh, you go. It's right around in the corner. May. I just wanted, but I. I I yeah. probably won't get it until because I I just pre-ordered it like a couple of days ago. How long right. ago did you pre-order, Johnny? Uh, the day the day they announced it, but even then I was oh, like shit. the three hundredth in in queue or some shit. Wow! Oh, <laughs> they actually give you a number? 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure they inscribed oh, that on your headset. So it you was know. like for a while on Reddit, people no. figured out the the confirmation number you get. It it, it shows you which which place in queue oh. that you are. Yeah. Red Reddit, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably gonna get it quite a bit later than than uh Johnny, but but I don't care about the touch yeah. because what is the okay. touch? It's it, there are the hand the controls touch. for the Oculus. <laughs> but the you is, got the power. They, they, <laughs> they don't. They don't. I mean, they had their website only says like the second half of 2016, and who knows what the price is. What I what I loved about the Vive, a there's full scale uh, room tracking, and they're also developing. They're all they're trying to make sure that all the all the games on top of having uh, room scale mapping. It's they're also enjoyable sitting down. So if, if you don't want to move around, that's fine. You can just sit and play them. But at the same time, I mean, when I was uh, thinking about the price, a a lot of the developers that I follow are really focused on the vibe, just because I mean it has everything. Um, also, when you think about the price, I mean it's sure it's it's eight hundred bucks. I mean that that's a lot of money, yeah. but that's with everything what is everything like you don't need anything else everything else is the headset uh supposedly they're including some some um headphones um i think they're just in-ear like yeah. little whatever um they have the two ir emitters what, what's an ir emitter is that like that's the called a lighthouse you know how the oculus the way the oculus works and the way pretty much every tracking software works right now you have a camera in front of the screen or whatever you're to aiming at with your head, and then the headset has the receivers, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So the, the camera sees where the headset is. The Vive works the opposite way. The headset has the receivers, and the emitters, you put them on up to 15 feet, up to a 15 feet radius room. And then the the... That's essentially what what tracks you, and that's what allows you to do three full three sixty and go up and down and all that stuff. Because the Oculus doesn't do full three sixty. Right. I think you can if you buy a second camera right, or something, but but then that's another mm-hmm. whatever. So but so so you get the the headphones, the 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 headset. You get the two cameras and the two controllers. And if you pre order, you get two three games, which is kind of nice. Sound um, like a commercial. <laughs> well, I mean, people better start buying it because I wanna, I wanna see you know wait, more, more iterations and more games. <laughs> yeah, no, but then, then there's Oculus. It's like, oh, here's the headset. You can't really move around that. I mean, well, you I, I, I kind of, I don't really care uh, you, you, like you, this one versus that one. Just like, what is it about VR that is that is mm. theoretically or like all you know the like we can like the the specifics of like the price points and all that stuff is like well whatever you know like money you know it's it's like eight hundred dollars yeah option. it's like exactly like eight hundred dollars is whatever like, it, uh, other videos you can watch for that yeah uh, I think it's just curiosity man it's like that sense of like I don't know just what's it like so something I look at completely this. new it's like that Blu-ray Escape. versus. Uh, the, the, you know, you remember back in oh H H D H D V D or whatever was it? Exactly, yeah. that's what this is. Like this would determine whoever comes on top, uh, which genre of VR would would expand more and more. Mm. The sitting down or the room scale. Oh, I see. I mean, it's it's in a in a sense, it's all it's also apple and orange because room scale has its own application and gaming uh, purpose, and then sitting down, it. It also it's 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 a complete different ballpark. So you can sit down and enjoy something, and it, you'll have the same 3D uh, VR experience. I mostly like sitting down. Right. So with sit down, you can you can drive a plane, you can drive a car, and you know it doesn't. I, I prefer anything. sitting down than standing up. <laughs> right. As a gamer, you know, it's like the Wii. You first started, you like get so into it. It's like not just as a gamer, down, just in motion. general. Like if there's an empty seat on the train, like I'll sit down. <laughs> Uh, but what about what is it about like just being in VR? Like, is this like is it better than Virtual Boy? That's why I really want that market right now. Because <laughs> it's like Virtual Boy when it first came out, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" But it really make your eyes bleed. Yeah, it's because it's <laughs> red. Oh, that's that's all red. not fun. <laughs> it was like all red, and the 3D is like weird. Red at you. 
that was a fun <laughs> experience. He's the virtual boy at a at another com- convention. Holy Recently, crap, I couldn't last like fifteen minutes. Yeah, no, last year. Mm. But man, you you like you have to rest your head on it because it's on a stand on a table. Yeah, right? oh, yeah. So right. you can't mount it on your face. You have to push your head against. Oh, it's like it. at the eye doctor when and they like blow like they blow air into your eye. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like that thing. Yep. Not a good, not a fun experience. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, like you're gonna feel a little puff. <laughs> Wait, what? You're just like yeah, it's like yeah, you're like waiting for it, like it never comes. <laughs> you blink before it blows. Oh yeah, I'm always scared I'm gonna fuck that up. Yeah. Oh, watch me fuck this up. It's like the, literally the easiest thing. <laughs> it's really come down we're, to we're that. Talking oh, okay. Movies, you know, uh, not just games. Like, uh, let's say, uh, okay, so something, something um, uh, radical. Let's say you recreate a historical event. Like, uh, and it could be anywhere. Civil Sunday, War, in, independent. You know, yeah, anything. The real you Civil War to the point. With with big budget, with with a lot of money, and then you cre- recreate the scene where you don't have to move, but things around you move, and you're just watching it 360. You're like you're just there at that point in time, mm. and I think that's it's, it's, no shit like that. Or like even let's say you make the next Star Wars movie, three 360, where you are free to move around, you're free to move around, you're free to look around it, and you can watch that movie three times, and you'll still get like new things that's happening because it's all around you. You're your framing is, is on you, essentially. So right now with, with video games, it's you get that freedom of... of and, and I haven't used the Vive myself, but I've read people say like for a shooting game, because there's a game called Arizona Sunshine that's coming out, which is just basically zombies coming at you and you have this assortment of weapons. You have to defend yourself, fight them off. And they come at, at every angle. I mean, when you play Call of Duty, zombie, you, you're constantly looking around you. It doesn't take much effort, but in real life, turning 360 and looking around you takes a lot of effort yeah. and, and people are having a difficult time like managing themselves because they get frantic for real. You feel like you're there and these zombies are coming at you. You're always checking your oh, corners. Oh, fuck that shit, cetera, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck> that. <laughs> that sounds like the last thing I want. <laughs> and there's a lot more horror games that's coming out that uses that uh, like peek around mechanism. You spend $900 to get a heart attack. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's like the, because it's it's so immersive, it, it becomes that like that ghost limb effect. Where have you seen those experiments where they put like a fake hand and then you hide your hand underneath it and then they hit it with a hammer? Or, yeah, right. They tickle it. Yeah. They make you feel it. They first. have that at uh, at the exploratorium. Do they? Okay. Well, it's it's. I would say I've never heard anybody say it like this, but I I feel like that's probably the same effect that you, you die get if you die in virtual reality, so, you die you, in real life. No, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> um, Isn't that in the Matrix? Well, but it's it's in the same it's in the same ballpark of of like the amount of immersion and what the effect that it has on people. Like every time somebody describes it, it's like your body truly reacts. And I've only I've only like tried actual vr once um and it was uh at a presentation a friend of mine did to uh, like a small group and just talking about like well, vr and the future vr whatever that was like a like a year ago and all i did it was like it was oculus dk2 which all, all you can do is just move your head around you can't duck you can't do any of that fancy shit just kind of like twist your head around and all i did was was this stupid little roller coaster uh like demo where it just imagine like you're like a little toy roller coaster going around a room you know it's 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 fun whatever you know and i it's i think it was was it dk1 or two i I don't remember it was probably dk2 but you could see that you're looking you you know that you're looking at a screen right because the that's it wasn't as high resolution as as they are now and they they hadn't figured out how to like hide the screen door effect and all that stuff so you, you can you know that you're looking at a screen but the fact that you move your head and it's just like you you really do feel like you're there it's it's pretty crazy and it um, am i the only one that's played an actual game in vr probably right zang you 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 didn't right, you, you were at gdc yeah so i got to i got to try the dk2 right this is the the latest yeah. uh, oculus dev kit and um i also got to try the project morpheus at the time now it's called the uh, playstation vr uh, and that was one of the first people mm-hmm. to try that. That wasn't a game. The, the Morpheus wasn't a game. It was just like a demo. But the uh, Oculus, I played a, um, it was a multiplayer game 
uh, versus other participants that were, I was sitting right next to them and we were all in the same um, space, virtual space. And it was a uh, space fighter game. So we were like a cockpit, we're in a cockpit and we were- Oh, it's probably uh, Elite Dangerous. I don't, yeah, I don't remember the name. It was like futuristic. Potentially. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like 1942 or whatever. It was like space, it was like space. And we were, we were all like, I mean, it's, as soon as I put on the, uh, what is it? The headset display, the H. H HMD. The HMD. As soon as I put on the H. <laughs> goggles. As soon as the I goggles. put it. No, no, Call no. Goggles. It's, it's HMD now. Um, I put it on <laughs> and I looked down and I saw my legs in like virtual, my virtual legs. I was immediately sold. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, it's on. Like, <laughs> yo, it is, this shit is lit. <laughs> I fucking like turn on the fucking ignition or whatever and just started flying my plane and I was doing like fucking <laughs> like fucking loop de loops and three sixties and motherfuckers are shooting at me and I was like oh fuck this and the, the you know the people that were shooting at me were like sitting right next to me or in the same room. Assholes. <laughs> I mean it was just um, like I was blown away immediately. Yeah, just the fact that you can look above yeah. you and behind you who's chasing after you that it, that's a mind blowing. Mind blowing. And if you drive, play a driving game, you you look into your turn. And you anticipate the turn before you do it. Oh, dude, it's over. Uh, what's that yeah. VR headset that yeah. they use with the, that little spinning treadmill? Like they were playing Battlefield or something, and they were just running, and then uh, I think it was it was I Oculus. Think, yeah, the, it's Oculus. Yeah, I mean, I think you mm. can you can adapt because that that company just makes the the running thingy, the, the, the virtuous Omni. That's but yeah. the headset, I think you can just use it with whatever. I mean, oh, I don't okay. see why not. But yeah, yeah. I think you you can like use you can grand. use like any headset with one. that, uh, yeah. but then you're like walking in 3D space, so that you could walk infinitely, I guess, and and still walk in the same place. I, I don't really like that uh, the Omni treadmill because it's kind of like it puts you in a baby seat. You know those yeah. things with the yeah, little yeah. Uh, toddler. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's yeah. one of those yeah. walkers, like walkers with yeah. wheels. Yeah, it girdles you. <laughs> no, so it girdles your your nether regions. But you're saying so, there was a video. If someone did uh, use the uh, the the Omni, the treadmill, and they use it with the uh, Oculus, and they modded Grand Theft Auto, so uh, you know GTA Five has that first person view and whatever. So they they modded that and to work with the first person view, and holy shit, that looks really realistic. The fact that you can run forward and check behind you, like when you're running from the cops, you run forward and you look behind you. And as there's you cops there. It changes the whole game. <laughs> yeah, you know? Oh, and that's also another problem. You see those fucking, they, they, they those fucking red and blues year. flashing. <laughs> you know? Uh, so uh, the problem now with VR is that is it easy to kill a human? So a lot of these games right now, they only put robot as the antagonist and the people you kill. There's this one game called uh, Budget Cut where you throw knives at, at robots. Um... Because it's a stealth game. You got to mm-hmm. hide from them. And, and when, when they spot you, just throw a knife at their head. Yeah. Now, a lot of, uh, there's a study that was like, it's I mean, actually I, really, I don't seem really to have hard. a problem right now playing the division. I do it very, uh, uh, very <laughs> well, skillfully. But it's different if you're seeing them at your height. And you what, know, a, what like about if they're like there. begging for you not to do it? You know, like Does that, that change that came anything? Out, um, <laughs> well, actually, looking that, into your <laughs> eye, like, please that, don't. That, that brings up a, a um, a good point. When you put yourself in the shoes of somebody that's just mindlessly killing people, you feel it. You like think twice about shooting somebody. And he was very scared and he's he's not even sure if he wants to release like the code in order for people to be able to play GTA 5 in in uh Well, that's been like the VR? like that's been the conservatives have been saying for years that video violent uh, video games. No, fuck, fuck them, fuck them. They they have no idea. They're completely different reasons for saying that. But you're just saying that like it's you know maybe there's some something to it. Are they complaining now? Or are they? No, this they is this even... is an argu- This is an old argument, right? It, no, and I, it's know, been, I know. And it's been disproven, obviously, right? We none yeah. of us are. We've all grew up. We all grew up playing Grand Theft Auto. But, but now, hey, but hey, may, maybe it can be used as a uh, as a test. Put people in it, and, and the one that starts going fucking AWOL on everybody, watch out for that guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Scarlet it could letter. be like... Well, I mean, what, what if you're a type of person who... Okay, like, Shane's for instance, like trying like to myself. Protect, Shane is about to try to protect himself. No. Oh, listen, listen, yeah. listen. listen. I, I want to kill a bunch of people. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm about to... That's what I said, From myself. future, like, <laughs> minority report, like... Yeah, no, pretty but much. Honestly, because for me, I know if I was in that scenario... 
it's the only time that it's the, it's I the, can yeah, the purge get away with it without doing it in real life because I I'm smart enough oh, to know that's the purge for pur- the purge <laughs> virtual yeah <laughs> like oh. virtual yeah VR yeah what, the purge did you guys VR. remember post uh, postal two no there was an old PC game called postal two that came out in the oh early it's only postal uh, right it's a first person shooter where you're an average dude. And you, the game is to get through. Do they the week. fire? Do One they day, fire you? you? They up. fire you like a day, like on Friday, and you're like, oh. right. So uh, yeah, it's like it's like it's Monday. You pick up milk, pick up check, and do whatever. And, but the act of doing so, everyone is annoying the shit out of you. Everyone just like tr- out to kill you. So you basically not play literally this, out um, to kill you. They're just like game. no, they're literally out to kill. You. Sometimes there's a terrorist oh, okay. attack. It's a very over the top game. It's a very comical over the top game. But the fact that it's a sandbox game where you can choose to live through your life without any violence or you can start off the game by shooting hmm. everyone. Like, you can kick people. There's a button for kick. There's a button for unzip. And when you unzip, when you press a button, you could pee on people. Nice. So you could <laughs> basically walk down the street, pick up a crowbar, beat some dude to and death, then pee on and them. then piss on his body. Great. Exactly. And that game has so much controversy. So I think we're, we're, we're back to that point again. Yeah, uh, it's it's about exposure basically. Yeah. The more you the more you're exposed to it, the, peop- the less yeah. people are gonna freak out. But the first game that in VR that make you kill a living person, that's gonna be a big yeah. deal. But I mean, it's like well, not can a we person, can we just let's person. just let's just use it for virtual sex. No, but okay. Well, that's what it's gonna be. No, but the, virtual the, sex <laughs> and virtual killing. The point, the, the two the, pleasures of mankind. What what got me from that? But article. I agree with the virtual sex. I don't agree with the okay. killing. Well, one's love making, and the other one is that's what I destroying. Mean. But you're doing true. Like There's one a, is just you're jerking off, and the yeah, other well, one I mean, is yeah. like you're playing the, a video J- game. Japan already has that, so I mean, do they? They've probably had that for the past ten years. So I saw a video about that actually. You guys ever heard of the the, the, the Novian Falcon? It's like a big 3D controller. It's like a physical controller that you use to to do ZBrush and Maya uh, and, no. and whatnot. Uh-uh. No, it's like a it's a very interesting looking device. It's a big orb that has four arms coming out of it that attach to a, a like a pen device. Uh huh. Anyway, long story short, they use that device for for VR sex <laughs> simulation. So they hook up that device. I'm wait, gonna, wait, wait. I want to show you guys what, a picture what, later. What? Like, show, no, show us. <laughs> Show us now. So, dude, it's, it's called okay. The, the I don't movie. need to see it. <laughs> I, I request so they, no. They attach a flashlight to this Novian Falcon, right? And so, when you thrust that flashlight, mm. the 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 it's like a hentai game. So the the, the little girl <laughs> in the computer fucking reacts to your dick, basically. And it's very it's very creepy. Here's here's the link. All right. <laughs> that's All the device right. that you use for 3D. What modeling. the fuck is that's this? How you, th- th- that's how you know. That looks like Glados. To, to, ZBrush, oh, you know. I see. I see. I see what you're saying. Right. Does that push? So it's like a sculpting tool. Does that push back though? Because the sculpting tools don't, don't normally have. Feedback. Oh, they have I see. Haptic feedback, so you have four, and you can use it in gaming. So you, too. you, you can. You can that is I see. So yeah. you can program it to like push back. Right. Right. So then, of course, they figured the fucking Jesus shit Christ. out for, for VR porn. Really? <laughs> you just stick your flashlight against it and, and thrust away. Mm. Oh, my God. Well, the, the possibilities, really? the possibilities hey. are endless. Endless. Hey, I mean, endless. this seems a little bit better than uh, Demolition Man's VR sex, if you ask me. Um, I wanted to uh, finish the podcast off by theorizing that possibly extraterrestrial life the reason why oh. we have not been able to make that first contact, right? Because I've been, you know, this all this. I mean, I see. I, I, okay. I talk. I talk You've to. Been... I talk to Luis every single day. He's always talking about <laughs> VR, and it's like this is like you know this is like the uh, every day there's a new announcement like the PlayStation One and all these new ones. But it's like I started thinking like, yo, the reason why we haven't been able to find anybody out there. All these motherfuckers, they're in virtual reality already. They've already, <laughs> m- you know, they've already made that step. They've already made that leap. And it's like, of course, we're they, not. They plug themselves they in. They plug themselves in already. Yeah. Like, we, of course, we haven't found anybody yet because those motherfuckers are in virtual lands or whatever. Virtual space. Yeah. Yep. You know, that's, that's, that's the interesting thing you brought up there. I've. Um, they, uh, they had a war with the machines and they lost. It can't be disproven. <laughs> 
<laughs> or is that or is that or or maybe is that or the, I guess the, my question to you guys is like is that our next step? Like, are we just kind of building ourselves to be like, is that our natural evolution? Well, I, I think so. I mean, your theory is very Wachowski, Wachowskian. It's it's basically the second Renaissance, uh, where we lose the war to the to the machines and we have to live in a VR world. Right, but oh, I think, uh, it, no, but there's no, no um, there's no like fight or whatever. It's just like, oh, there will be. <laughs> Have you seen Boston Dynamics fucking robots that we keep pissing off? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like we is, 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 is it a coincidence that both these technologies are emerging at the same time? Okay, is it a coincidence? Yeah. Uh, no, I would say. <laughs> and and dr- okay, so three three major things: the Boston Dynamics robots. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Drone tech, drone technology is fucking blowing up right now, and VR is about to come out. So I don't know. It's yeah. Insane. All right. Well, we'll just, we'll 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 end it. Well, we've ended it on a positive note then. Sort of. <laughs> oh wait, that's a totally negative. <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, one one thing that I've thought of that'd be really good is a good positive thing to end it on. VR would be very awesome for people with disabilities. Yeah. Oh, that's sure. perfect. You know? sure. And we've we seen this in Avatar. You know, the guy, he didn't have legs, but he got into this body and now he can run again. That wasn't so VR, though. It was pretty much that. Huh? I mean, was that the, VR? Yeah. No, that was like. It, it was, that's like the super advanced VR. That was yeah. like a full dive system, that, like what I was talking <laughs> about earlier. Yeah. But anyway, guys. <laughs> I I think uh, I think it's time for us to take off our virtual goggles. What is it called again? Uh, the yeah. actual normal term? Head mounted display. Yeah. So take I your think, okay. Uh, take your HMDs off now. Hold on, we're gonna lose All Luis right, if we do that. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> put your, <laughs> put your dick back inside. Your pants. <laughs> uh, it's so bright in real life. So anyway, um, yeah, I think. That was a very interesting VR talk, and I want to really say thank you, Luis, for picking up and joining us at that when moment. Get, when we get these, uh, when everybody gets their VR sets, we'll we'll we'll, we'll come back to this to this talk. Oh, for sure. Because I'm probably gonna get the Sony one myself. So. Yep, me too. Cool. Nice. Cool. Might okay. as well. Nice. Word. So, shout All outs right. to you guys for this fucking awesome talk. Yeah. Thank you. Great yeah, thanks for having thank us. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Andy. Um, thank you, Luis. And uh, well, Luis is a long time. Well, but he, yeah, oh, yeah, but he just came I, in I, for I, this I, VR. I haven't been segment. on in a while. Yeah, Too I haven't bad. seen him in a minute. But one major shout out. We want to say a shout out to Some Jerk for loaning us the rights to utilize the single and flows music for our intro and outros, and. Yeah, I think that's it. All but right. the real question is, are we really here or are we in virtual reality? No, no, no. This will never know. Cannot be disproved. <laughs> Follow the white rabbit. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. Get home safe. <laughs>